Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Colourpop um, haul. I put an order in um, maybe two to three weeks ago and I received my package earlier this week and I'm super excited about it. I've never tried Colourpop um, before anything from their brand. So I got the box and it comes like this. It has like this foam stuff to keep your makeup safe which is really nice. And I also got a card that says, Dearest Gemma, you're the best. Love Colourpop. So that's really sweet. I really like when companies put like cards in their packages. It just, um, I think it's a little bit more personal. Um, I appreciate that. I'll show you the highlighter first. Um, I got one highlighter, which is, I got Smoke and Whistles. Um, it is a really pretty like peachy, goldeny color. I really like this color actually. Like it is super intense. I haven't tried this on the face. So that's the highlighter there. As you can see, it's like super intense. It is so nice. Um, look at that. Like I just want it on my face. Like, hello. Um, I'm, we'll use this in like an upcoming tutorial so you can see what it looks like on the face. But I'm really excited for that. So moving on to the lipsticks. I have five of these. First one I have is Lumia, which is Kathleen Light's color, I believe. I love Kathleen Light's. Like... I love her so much, so I will support her, and this looks like an amazing color. It is like a dark mauvey, um, yeah, like a dark mauvey color, like, um, it is really creamy, like, oh, this is insane, like, oh my goodness. So, that's what Lumiere looks like. It is gorgeous. I love this shade. Really dark mauve on me. I really like the way that you apply it, um, just because they are smaller than like a normal bullet, which is really good for me because I have, you know, small lips. Sadly, I don't have amazing Angelina Jolie lips like I would dream I do, but, um, but it's really easy to apply it. I really like that because sometimes I have trouble with a bigger bullet. The next one I have is Contempo, which is a matte formula again. This one looks really similar. I think it's got a little bit more brown in it. Let me just swatch it on my hand. Oh wait, no, that looks, actually, they're not very completely different. Like that's Contempo and that's Lumia there. So it's a little bit lighter, um, a little bit more pink in it, but they're pretty much the same. Oh my goodness. But, you know, in my mind, they're completely different, you know? You justify it. So, let me try this one on. I feel like this one has actually a little bit more um, brown in it as well, but it is very similar to Lumia, but this one's a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, I really like this shade. Okay, so the next one I have is Westy, which again is a matte formula. This one's like a really light pink. Like, can you see that? Um, yeah, this is basically like a really light pink with a little bit of mauve in it. That's really pretty. Let me try this one on. I think this will look really pretty like in spring um, or when I have my really pale skin. I really like this shade actually. This is gorgeous. So the next one I have is Bound, which is a glossy finish. That's what Bound looks like there. So it's kind of similar to um, Westy, but it has a little bit more, it's not as pink, but it's like really close as you can see. Um, yeah, it has a little bit more purple in it, I say. So let's give this one a go. I love this shade actually, this is gorgeous. It would look better when I'm pale. Um, it's definitely a little bit more purple and a little bit darker than um, Westy. Yeah, I really like the colors that I've got so far. They're very similar. Um, they're kind of in the same family. Um, the last shade that I have in the lippy sticks is Pitch, which is a matte and it's like a dark brown. So it's pretty much just a dark brown. Like it's slightly warm, but I don't know. I don't know how I'll go with these. I really wanted a brown lipstick just because I want to get on the hype because it looks gorgeous on everyone else and I want to join in, you know, but I'm not quite sure how it will look on me. So hopefully this one won't look really bad on me. Otherwise, I'll just give it to my sister. I'm a bit scared to try this one, actually. Okay, so that's a really bad application. I don't know about it. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not sure how I feel about it on me. Just this color. Um... I don't know. Let me know what you think down below of this color. Let me know if I should keep it or give it to my sister or I don't know. One of my sisters might like it. 
Um, but yeah, I don't know about this, so let me know. It's a bit different. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to it. That's it for the lippy sticks. Now onto the um, ultra matte lips. I've got seven, seven of these. Hopefully I like the formula. Oh my God. I'm going to start with midi. I think this is a light one. Yeah. So the formula leaves are really, really liquidy, which could be nice. That's what it looks like there. It has a lot less pink as you can see. It is definitely like a darker brownie nude. I don't know about this on me. Let's see. Let's try it on. Super pigmented. You don't really get much product on the applicator, which it's all right. It's drying a little bit more mauvey. Like it has a little bit more purple in it, um, less brown when it's drying, um, at least on me at least. I really like this shade. Um, it's a little bit like gray, gray purple. Really pretty actually. Um, I don't really have a problem with my lips being like super chapped, but I think that if you really have like really dry lips, I probably wouldn't recommend this formula just because it is really matte. Um, yeah, I really like this. This is really nice. Okay, so for the next one, let's try Clueless. Kind of like the same as the last one. Okay, so it's a lot darker than the last one and it has more pink in it and more mauve. Yeah, it's really close to Lumia actually, except Lumia has a lot more purple in it. Um, I really like this one. This is drying a lot more purple than um, initially when you look at it in the tube, like that's a lot lighter. Yeah, this is gorgeous. All the colors that I've tried so far, I like I'm obsessed with. This is amazing. So next one I have is Solo, Solo, I don't really know, but okay, this one looks very similar to the other ones, oh my goodness. Okay, this one's a lot more pink. It has a little bit of warmth to it. That's so low there, as you can see. Yeah, okay, this one's different. I feel good about this one. Just because it gives me some variety, seeing that I like pick the same shades. I feel like this dough fit for this color doesn't apply as much product as the other ones. I don't know, that's a bit weird. I feel like I have to dip in a little bit more with this color. I like this shade. This one's different. Well, from the other ones that I have, it's different. Um, it's a lot warmer. It kind of reminds me of my MAC um, Please Please Me. Yeah, except a little bit darker. I, I love that shade. That's my favorite lipstick. I love this shade, actually. This is really gorgeous. I'm happy. I'm happy with this one. The next lighter one I have is Trap, which is more of a grayish, like a gray more. Like, this is more gray than the other ones. I have no idea how this looks will look on me, but it looks really cool online. So I think it's a little bit different. Like it's still like a neutral, but it's a little bit of like a gray, which I think looks really interesting. So that's what trap looks like there compared to the others. It's very similar to um, this one, very similar to this one up here. Um, but this one definitely has like a lot of gray in it. Hopefully it looks good on me. We'll see. Sorry for the bad application. I don't know, what do you guys think of it? Um, it's different. It's not 100% dry yet. I think it's cool. I'm not gonna lie, if you hate it, I'm sorry. Um, definitely give me your honest opinions um, down below in the comment section. I think this is different. Like, I don't have a color like this in my collection. But yeah, I think this is really cool. The next one I have is Mars. Um, this is like the only bright color that I had. I don't know why they had really gorgeous bright colors. I only picked this one up. Don't know what was going through my head when I was doing this. Um, I'm really excited for this shade because when I want to wear a bright lip, it will be like a bright hot pink. I'm excited. Like, look at that. Seriously? So it is a bright pink. Um, it's more, it's kind of like a bright pink red. Like it's not red, but it's almost there, you know? It, um, it is a gorgeous shade. Like this is, really pretty. I don't actually have a pink like this. Like I have a lot of different types of pink. So this is exciting. I love this. I'm really excited to wear this when I'm, I'm really pale. 
and like just like mascara oh I'm excited I really like this shade I'm glad I picked up this color okay so the next shade I have is two I think it's tool 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 I think it's tool um this is the one that I wore the other night um this is the only one I tried on before um it dries down on me like a lot darker and a little bit warmer so that's what it looks like there tool um I've seen swatches online of other people wearing this and it looks a lot different on them than it does on me but I really love the way it looks on me I don't know I'll show you what it looks like okay so literally that was the worst application in the world but I love the shade it doesn't really look that great with this and like my makeup that I have on now but it's not like a brown, but it's definitely like on the verge of being brown. It has a little bit of purple in it. Yeah, definitely. The last one that I have is Limbo, which is a brown. This, I think, is warmer. Yeah, so it definitely has a little bit more of a yellow undertone in it. Yeah, I don't know if that will look good on me. We'll see. That's what Limbo looks like on me. I have no idea. Um, I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. I'm really unsure about the brown colors on me. Um, I think it looks cool. I don't know. What do you think? I think if obviously like with different makeup and different clothes and like maybe my hair a little bit different, but I don't know. What do you think of it? Definitely have to play around with it. Um, I definitely prefer the limbo than the pitch. I think I might give pitch to my sister. Um, just on me, it doesn't look that great on. Um, I think I did pretty well. Like, I kind of like all my colors, except I'm a bit iffy about pitch. But, um, I don't know how to feel about this. Please let me know what you think of this color or any of the other colors, um, down below. Because I really want your opinion on what do you think looks best on me. Oh, also, please let me know down below um, what your favorite items from Colourpop is. So when I put my order in next time, I have some ideas of what I need. So let me know because I really do want to put another order in because I, I really love the brand so far. I'm really impressed so far. Like for the quality of how like cheap it is, it is ridiculous. Like, so yeah, that's my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I love watching these videos. I think it's really fun um, to show you like, you know, the colors. Yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!